Pitch is high. Throw to second. It's a stolen base. There he goes. No chance. Stolen base, Anthony Volpe. Anthony, the sign there says Volpening Day. What do you make of all this? It's just a dream come true for me. The Yankees' top prospect and MLB's number three overall prospect, Anthony Volpe, managed to make the opening day roster for the Yankees as their starting shortstop. This is a special story for a few reasons, as he's a homegrown kid from New Jersey who grew up idolizing Derek Jeter and going to Yankees games, and he is the first New York Yankee aged 21 or younger to start on opening day in 27 years since, you guessed it, Derek Jeter. We won't get too deep in making comparisons here, but let's get into who is Anthony Volpe. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe, as over the past month, 91% of the watch time on my videos have come from people who are not yet subscribed. Anthony's ties to the Yankees actually started before he was even born, as his mom and dad met in medical school in Brooklyn in 1990 and bonded over their fandom for the New York Yankees. Apparently, they even slept outside Yankee Stadium when playoff tickets went on sale. By the way, this is a picture of a young Garrett Cole. When Anthony's mother, Isabel, went into labor in 2001, they watched the Yankees beat the Athletics on TV. Volpe would be born the next morning just a short 14 miles away from the current Yankee Stadium. And for years, Anthony's dad used to call into local radio stations to give his two cents on who the Yankees should pursue in free agency or trade. And by the way, I wanted to shout out June Lee with ESPN, who wrote this great article about Volpe and has helped a lot with the research on his background. For the first 10 years or so of Anthony's life, they lived in the heart of downtown New York, as his mom is an anesthesiologist and his dad is a urologist. But they would often go to the baseball center nearby in New York, where they can go in any weather to get as many reps as possible. After making the move to New Jersey, Anthony filled out a questionnaire when he was named the player of the week for his 12 and under travel team. And of course, he said when he grows up, he wants to be a major league baseball player for the Yankees. And his favorite position was any position that will help my team win. His second favorite was shortstop. He also added, baseball is my life. I do play other sports for recreation. Him and his dad also attended Derek Jeter's final game, in which, of course, he had a walk-off RBI single to finish out his historic Yankees career. With a walk-off single, Derek Jeter, where fantasy becomes reality. Anthony would go on to play baseball at Del Barton School, which is a private all-male Catholic college prep school in Morristown, New Jersey. And during his time, he would team up with none other than pitching standout Jack Leiter, who would go on to be drafted by the Texas Rangers with the second overall pick in the 2021 MLB Draft. But back to Volpe, as you'd imagine, he tore it up in high school. And as a senior, he batted 488 with seven home runs, 34 RBIs, and 17 stolen bases, after which he was named the 2019 New Jersey High School Player of the Year. He would go on to commit to playing college baseball at Vanderbilt University, which is the same university that Leiter committed to. But for Volpe, he would make the jump a bit quicker as he was ranked as the 28th overall prospect heading into the 2019 draft, and we all know what happened next. With the 30th selection of the 2019 MLB draft, the New York Yankees select Anthony Volpe, a shortstop from Del Barton School in Morristown, New Jersey. He's a Vanderbilt commit, like his high school teammate Jack Leiter. What? Uh, they love his defense at the position. He's slightly undersized at just 5'11", 180 pounds. Love the kid. You know, he's got really great baseball instincts for the ball. He's always in the right place at the right time. He's an exceptional defensive infielder. Great glove to hand transfer. He does everything well on a baseball field. He's a solid average to plus runner. Um, and I like the bat. And, I, you know, the, he's not undersized for me because there's strength in the body. You watch him over the course of a week. I saw him at the NHSI, that homer at USA Baseball, the ball doesn't carry there. Uh, he really stands out against good competition. And he's the kind of guy you like more the more you see him because of those instincts, the baseball IQ, and the makeup. In 2019, he would put pen to paper. The 2020 season would be canceled due to COVID. And in 2021, Volpe would play in A ball and high A, combining in 109 games, batting 294 with 27 home runs, 86 RBIs, and 33 stolen bases. He had a 1.027 OPS in his first exposure to Pro Bowl. And a high drive to deep. Okay, we need another look at that bat flip. And a high drive, and a high drive, and a high drive to deep left. 
Turning around goes to Plantis. This is gone and the ball game's over. In 2022, playing 110 games in AA, 22 games in AAA, his power numbers and his average took a step back, but he ran wild on the base path. He would finish 2022 with a 249 batting average, 21 home runs with 65 RBIs, 50 stolen bases, and an OPS of 802. It turns out that he became the first minor leaguer since Andrew Jones in 1996 to hit 20 home runs and steal 50 bags in a year. Wells 1-2. Volpe drives it in the air, deep towards left field. Heron goes back at the warning track, bombs away! And a celebration in Somerset in the Eastern League's Northeast Division. They mob in that home plate. Anthony Volpe's 10th homer of the year is a walk-off two-run bomb. And then we head into 2023. But first to give some context, the Yankees have been looking for their long-term solution at shortstop ever since Jeter retired. Didi Gregorius provided some great moments with his bat over his five years in pinstripes, as well as providing above average defense. Although after having Tommy John surgery in 2018, the Yankees decided to go a different direction and focus on signing Garrett Cole after the 2019 season. Didi would go on to sign with the Phillies. Next up was the Glaber experiment. He filled in for Didi in parts of 2018 and 2019, and was their main shortstop in 2020 and 2021. But in those four years that he was playing shortstop, he would never finish at a league average fielding percentage, and oftentimes finished much lower. Although he did make the all-star game in 2018 and 2019 for his bat. Currently, he's the team's second baseman. And then in 2022, Isaiah Kiner Falefa was the team shortstop who finished with a round league average defense and a below average bat. He's currently a utility man for the Yankees. Meanwhile, the Yankees have passed up on big name free agent shortstops, both in 2021 with Trevor Story, Corey Seager, Javier Baez, Marcus Simeon, and Carlos Correa. And then again in 2022 with Trey Turner, Xander Bogarts, Dansby Swanson, and Carlos Correa part two as well as reportedly rejecting a few trades because they have their guy, Anthony Volpe. It was wind-dated, which, which I thought, he, that one's not wind-dated. That one is ripped to left field and off the bottom of the wall. Volpe will motor into second. He's there with a double in the impressive spring. All right. Difficult conversation to have to have because you came in and did play your ass off. Okay, and you know we talked about at the start of this being a competition, and and you killed it. But at the end of the day, you got twenty-something games at AAA. There's always room for development, but at the end, I think that development should happen in the big leagues. Welcome to New York. <laughs> Congratulations, brother. You earned it. You earned it. You earned it. I get you. No, my heart is <laughs> What stands out for me about Volpe, Bob, when you watch a young player, you ask yourself, does this kid belong? Does he look like he's ready? Does the game speed up on him? The game does not speed up on Volpe. You mentioned it earlier. Heading into spring training, I think Peraza was the favorite to be the starting shortstop on opening day. But with an opportunity, Volpe just pushed forward and grabbed that job. He forced the Yankees to make him the opening day shortstop at the age of 21. And when you watch him at the plate, just watch how selective he is. Watch how mature he is. His at-bats are not the at-bats that a common 21-year-old has. This kid is ready to perform and he's telling folks he's going to be here for a long time. As of his first eight career games, he's off to a slow start at the plate with a 160 batting average, but he's been active on the base path with three stolen bases and just today he hit his first extra base hit with a triple in Camden Yards, which would have been a home run if it was three feet to the left. Volpe will get a double. He's going to make the turn and go for three. It's a triple for Volpe. He just missed a home run. It's an exciting time for Yankees fans and an exciting time for baseball with all of this young talent in the league. So keep an eye out for Anthony Volpe. Otherwise, he might have stolen second base before he even noticed. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more baseball content throughout the season. And I'll post a link on the right side of the screen to my player profile series. All right, guys, goodbye zone and don't forget it.